Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true feelings for you right now. So my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you look at personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, we are gonna use multiple decks today, okay? So, and if you guys want me to continue to use multiple decks, it's going to be a very in-depth reading. We're going to cover their true feelings, the blockage here in the connection, and then the likely outcome of the connection. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. What's going on my Virgo's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they're about. How does my Virgo's love interest feel about my Virgo's? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's love interest feelings towards them. Give me one card for the blockage in the connection. And give me three cards for the likely outcome of the connection. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the card. I need two, three. Okay, let's lay down your cards. We got the King of Cups energy, the Hermit card energy, excuse me, the Hierophant card energy, the Death card energy, the Page of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Justice, the Two of Swords, and the Sun card, and then let's see the blockage. Well, we got the Three of Swords energy as the blockage, and there seems to be this obsessive energy with you guys. When it comes to being defensive and getting hurt, this person's kind of putting their wall up. These responsibilities seem to be an issue here and making things stuck here with the Hangman energy. The blockage seems to be this heartache here, possibly a third party situation. Let's clarify because it seems like this person seems to be stuck in their head and they're just like oh god what do i do all right so let's see is this deck over here why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here show my cards i need to see show my cards i need to see okay thank you so we see that someone's questioning their motives or what they want here and uh there is a sense that something is locked or there's some kind of barrier to making a power move Something seems to be secret or someone's concerned about exposure and seeing beyond uh, the reason of the situation and constantly thinking, thinking, thinking that it needs to be a perfect kind of situation and looking at the attraction or a lack of appreciation and luck or the situation and trying to find purpose and gaining power. So let's go through this and make it seem, okay, so I like to be clear cut, so as a lot of you guys know uh, already about me. So someone is trying to have good intentions, okay, and they want to make the best move here, the most powerful move in unlocking the situation, right? But on the same token, they are looking at the situation or they're concerned or they're keeping something from you because they're trying to look beyond this sense of, all right, I'm very thankful. I keep thinking about this situation. I need time, but I want things to be in perfect harmony, perfect balance here. Because of this attraction, I really, really would like to make some kind of power move or have some kind of purpose around this so I can hit the bullseye here. So it's like someone is stuck in their head, okay? I feel like someone's stuck in their head and they keep like working on different scenarios here of what they can do and how there's purpose behind this and it's causing a lot of heartache here in the situation it's causing them a lot of heartache here there is a lot of pain and hurt from what had happened before as well i feel like and someone is not really allowing their emotions to flow that's what i feel like also from this card and they're keeping that bottled up there because i feel like this this is storm here but the storm can't provide any rain because it's being stored it's not it's not being let go of somebody needs to forgive someone here okay okay so we can see that justice yes and see someone wants justice the blockage is heartache somebody wants justice uh, so their your love interest wants some kind of justice or they want a decision here or they want something legal they're trying to gain new perspectives about the situation uh, um, you know new ideas new perspectives here Gemini Libra Aquarius energy this person does have love with 
love with you, love for you with the King of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We see they're trying to make this decision. They're trying to reveal some things in their decision that's balanced here. I feel like they're trying to be grounded in this decision that they're trying to make here with you. Uh, but they also are they're like, all right, I'm looking to the past and I want to make sure that there is a new beginning here. That's what I feel like. Because the page of swords for me is new ideas, new concepts. Um, and they're looking to the past and they're like, all right, I want to make sure that this has changed. There is a new beginning here when I make this decision. Because I want to base it on love with the King of Cups energy. Because we mirror that card, it's based on love, right? So let's use this deck over here and clarify the Justice card here. Why is the Justice card here? Justice card, please. Thank you. Yeah, they're trying to make a decision based on caring connections and something of value here and how to bring that into balance. Because there may be other people involved in the situation, okay, with the community card coming out. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? Page of Swords is here because there's worry and anxiety and a lot of overthinking. Uh, and that there's going to be some arguments, fights, or hostilities. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Thank you. They're looking ahead to the future and hoping that there can be a sense of abundance and love and appreciation here in bringing that into balance. And also this person feels like there's indecisions going on within them. Again, I feel like if we look here, the emotions are down here. Okay, and the sky seems like they want to let the, the emotions flow here, but they're in their head and they're in their thoughts and they're at a crossroads. And we see there is a want to reach out and flirt and be flirty here and look at new things from new perspectives with the Page of Wands energy when it comes to marriage and long term here. But let's see what's going on. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Okay, Two of Swords is here because, yeah, indecisions about happiness because of an, a barrier and trying to be strategic so that things can open up for them towards a happy family. So why is the Page of Wands here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy? Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Wands is here because of love in spirit and some sense of jealousy and, and, and indecisions around that, okay? So your person may feel like you're uh, being very flirty or they may feel like you have a lot of options and they do get jealous. All right, what's the Hierophant card about? What's the Hierophant card about? Trying to find that strength, courage, or confidence for fulfillment of wishes, blossoming into some kind of abundance here, and really thinking, contemplating about being patient so they can have a victory here. So, so far, let's see. This person does love you. They do feel like you're the best decision when it comes to love, but they've gained new perspective and they really want to make a decision here. And maybe for some of you, they want a sense of justice. There's something to do with marriage, with a hierophant card, or a commitment to potential passions here and this indecision within them. Your person feels like they want something to really change, transform here. And they feel like there's been a self-focus going on here, a focus on finances with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Your, po your person does feel like you do make them happy here with the Sun card energy. And that's what they're going to base their decision on. Because um, right now they're in this indecision mode, but they're going to base their decision on the sense of happiness here. Because they're ready for this change. They feel like there's a wise decision when it comes to love because they do love you. And they're going to make their decision based on that uh, happy aspects. And we see the death card is saying they're ready for this to end all that pain and hurt for a new beginning here. So let's just see what that death card is about. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay, thank you. Some of you... There's love here and there could be a marriage involved and they feel like they need to end this for this new beginning with you so they can be single and available so that you guys can be happy. That's for some of you. They're saying they're opening themselves up to opportunities in abundance and they've really thought about things and they're trying to be patient here. 
because they want a victory. Okay. And what's this Nine of Pentacles about? Again, bringing things into balance. And being strategic here in the barriers that are in, in the way right now. And what's the Sun card about? What's the Sun card about? Love. Yeah, well, you can go down and you can see that. They're like, I love you. And I feel there's potential for passion. We can explore new things together and be happy. I want to end that situation here for a new beginning so we can explore some things here if I make this decision. I've gained new perspective because I've spent that time alone or I've looked at things from this isolated and separated place. I've been indecisive here with the Two of Swords energy about this new perspective, about being single and available to pursue or been money focused with the Nine of Pentacles energy, but I'm ready for our happiness, our success. Let's get more perspective on their feelings, Virgo. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. How does my Virgo has love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? How's my Virgo's love interest feel about the romantic? Let's give me another perspective of this situation, please. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see, Virgo. This person's looking to the signs. They're seeing spiritual signs here. And there is attraction here. And they feel that you're a part of their life purpose. This person sees there's something sacred about the connection. And they really looked at this deeply internally. And they're ready to revive the situation because you guys are soulmates. And they do feel like there's a lot of chemistry and passion. There's freedom around the situation that can help resolve the conflict. For some of you, there may have been a third party situation. There may be a third party situation because it's the way the cards are lining up with sexual freedom, resolving conflict when it comes to a relationship because soulmates are two people, right? Sexual freedom can imply that there's more than one person involved here. Okay, and this person's like, all right, I'm ready to look for some science, revive this, to make this a sacred connection, to look internally, and I know you're a part of my life purpose. So going further on this, Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Virgo's love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards. And obviously, you want to come out, spirit. Okay. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so your person is looking at things very deeply. They do feel like if you guys separated, they would truly miss you. Or if you guys are separated, they are missing you and they are stressing about this. This person wants to assert themselves and take tr control of the situation to make a power move when it comes to a text message letter or a document to overcome challenges and delays. This person really does want to invest time in the connection because you do make them happy. They do want to bring the situation into balance. Hi, right, my beautiful Virgos. So let's now take a look at the likely outcome here. Okay, we put all the cards back over here. We already shuffled these, so let me just put those aside. Okay, there we go. Yep. Okay, let's just choose shuffle again of the likely outcome here. Okay, that's the problem. You put the cards, you have to put them to the side and not on top, right? Okay. What's the likely outcome for this connection? What is the likely outcome for this connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. Okay. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is Six of Cups here? Why is Six of Cups here? Okay. So we see that there was going to be a sense of loss here, Five of Pentacles energy. And then there's a person that's like, you know, 
there was a lack of flexibility here and I really want your attention because I feel at a loss here. And then there's going to be clarity gained here and a victory because there's a person that's like, all right, I want to heal the connection because I love you with the heart card being there. And then as a result, there's going to be clarity because of memories of the past, reminiscing about the past. And there's going to be a decision being made here because someone feels isolated and separated here with the tower card energy. Or there's a person that's like, I want a sense of order, a sense of structure here because of I want to renew this past energy, right? I want to heal this energy, six of, of cups. I feel a sense of loss, but then there's a victory here because of healing, recovery, and love. Six card energy, right? There's a victory here. There's an opportunity for a victory to heal this situation. So let's get you guys some advice. Okay, thank you. Spirit is saying you are provided for and there is abundance here. What else does Virgo need to know about this situation? Thank you. Your obstacles will be removed, Virgo, and you have the authority, the power to do so because you know what's best for you. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I will see you in another day or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. There's the weeklies, there's the monthlies, there's the next two weeks, and there are true intentions all up in the middle for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.